hijab, leggings and skinny jeans. I hardly ever see a woman and think, yeah, she's dressed pretty modestly with a great sense of fashion, unless she's fully covered in an abaya. I mean, you see long tops, usually non-figure hugging but with skinny jeans and leggings, or modestly dressed with the hijab not covering her chest or bits of her hair showing, usually the fringe area. I don't understand how people have forgotten that hijab is not just a headscarf. It has to cover every single hair on your head. It has to cover your neck, has to cover your chest, your backside, long sleeves that are non-transparent. Your skirt has to be covering your legs to your feet. It's also your character, your actions. You can't be dressed modestly and then be free mixing with your friends from work and university because that just shows that you're picking and choosing parts of Islam. We need to be brave enough to look different. Stop trying to follow the non-Muslim fashion by wearing leggings and skinny jeans in front of our non-mahrams. Embrace the modesty of non-figure hugging fashion. It will give more power to those who are trying to follow the rules. Women wearing leggings and skinny jeans will not enter Jannah. Yes, I know I'm not God and I can't judge who's going to heaven and hell, but I remind myself this when I feel the temptations myself. Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, One of the signs of the Day of Judgment is when women will be dressed, but they will appear naked. That's any type of clothing that's so tightly wrapped around your body that you can see the silhouette of that person. So, leggings, skinny jeans, the hadith goes on. They will not enter Jannah and will not even smell the scent of Jannah when it can be smelt from a far distance. Before you make any judgments, just realise that I don't enjoy following these rules. I just hope to enjoy the consequences in Jannah, inshallah. I'd rather you accept that you're not dressing Islamically than do it and then try to justify your outfit by saying it's Islamic fashion because the young sisters are believing that they're dressing well because they're constantly seeing hashtag Islamic fashion online and now the young sisters are becoming young mothers of today role models of the future. We're all human, we're weak and made mistakes, but attempting to justify it falsely takes away the success of those who do follow it, and that inevitably will not encourage others to do it. In order to encourage people, we shouldn't use the tactic name and shame, rather we should name and fame. Appreciate one another for the sacrifices that we make.